Hello, my lovely friends. It has been a while. Here, I'll take my glasses off just so I can, I can connect with you. And excuse me because I still haven't gotten a proper mount. So first things first, I just want to thank all you humans who have recently subscribed, which is very surprising because I haven't posted for months. And usually when that happens, your activity drops, but I've still been getting views on videos and I've been uh, getting subscribers. I think I'm almost at like 350. Hope you guys enjoy the content and I hope you enjoy the content that is to come in the near future. As far as what happened, things that have happened with the car, nothing has happened. I've just been putting oil and gas in it because that is all this Mazda needs is oil and gas and it needs to be lowered, it needs an exhaust, it needs a front lip. Um, uh, some more sticker tuning. That's it, really. Oh, a turbo would be nice, but it's not gonna happen. One small thing did happen. I did roll over 100,000 kilometers on the car. Not that that's particularly interesting. It's actually pretty low for these kind of cars. On the Mazda 2 Club on Facebook, people are rolling over like whatever 160,000 miles is in kilometers, like that high, the cars are still doing fine. I can't remember if I covered that in a previous video. Um, and one negative thing did happen. Out of all the things that have happened in these months, uh, one, I, I'm pretty sure someone slashed one of my Anki rims. Um, or the, well, the tires, obviously. There's like an inch long cut. I can stick my finger in it. And if that kind of cut happened while I was driving, I would have felt all the air escape immediately. And so the fact that it was fine when I parked it and when I went to go drive it the next morning, it was flat and there's a big gouge in the sidewall probably gives away the fact that it was um, slashed. So anyway, that's a bummer. I still need to get that replaced. Luckily, tires are cheap for this car. Um, and yeah, it's also, we've been having a ton of snow in the forecast um, lately for um, here in Vancouver. There's some rem remnants here um, in the mountains right now, which is funny because um, December there was nothing, January it was warm. I was actually gonna put my the Ankies back on and I'm glad I didn't because I would have played myself because February rolled around and boom, there's snow everywhere. So I didn't even make it home one night and I had to uh, crash my parents and I had to get new winter tires the next day and I'll show you them because they're sweet. These are the Winter Tamers by Black Lion. Look at the girth on them. Yes, look at that. Awesome. And what a difference these make. I only got the front ones. Look at the rear ones. You can see how bad the tread is. So because of that, if I um, let off the gas and huck the wheel in the snow, the whole car will go into a slide. And it's, it's hilarious because there's so much traction up front and there's practically nothing in the rear. Even though they still are winter tires, it, the, the difference in traction makes uh, quite a big difference and it's a lot of fun. This car just pops in this kind of weather. Obviously if there's more snow around it pops even more, but they're red mixed with the snow. It just looks awesome. I love it. Also, I never did point out that I did get these little rain visors off a member of the Mazda 2 Club on Facebook. And I, I, I really like the look of them. I just need to lower it. places like this, especially this time of year because in the summertime it's riddled with people getting suntans and screaming children, but now there's, I'm the only person out here. It's beautiful. In case you're wondering, this is Bunsen Lake in uh, Canada, Vancouver area and more to be exact. And if you follow a lot of Instagram photographers, you might have seen this little house photographed millions of times. It's the Instagram boat hut thing. I've even photographed it lots of times. So when the lake is still, unlike, unlike today, if you get a picture of that house with the mountains in the background, it's actually super epic. You know what's awesome is this place is 10 minutes from my house. It's great. And the deuce in the wilderness. So that's about it. 
uh, today for me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this casual little update vlog thing. Um, I do like filming these random things, just talking about just random stuff. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, then let me know in the comments because I do enjoy making them. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I hate saying that. It's so cringy. It's just... But you, you kind of have to say it if you're going to be on YouTube. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm-hmm.